we present differential Bayesian filtering, a new method for generating trajectories for high-speed autonomous racing. Compared to end-to-end learning-based algorithms for autonomous driving, our method combines the knowledge of vehicle dynamics and a sampling technique to generate optimal race lines at runtime which are passed on to a low-level controller such as Pure Pursuit. Using the deep racing framework, we have converted a popular Formula 1 game into a simulation environment that allows us to test the performance of our proposed method. The deep racing API captures game images and synchronizes them with the vehicle data in a package that is suitable for deep learning algorithms. We first observe driver runs from an expert, and while the expert is driving, we can log the steering, the acceleration, and the throttle positions of the car, along with the positions of the car on the track and the track bounds itself. This is then used to train our algorithms. At runtime, a sequence of images from the game are fed into our pre-trained network called AdmiralNet, which generates a local optimal race line estimate for the race car to follow. The key innovation in differential Bayesian filtering is that instead of predicting a fixed trajectory, we learn a Gaussian distribution over the control points of a Bezier curve. This allows us to sample candidate trajectories from a distribution of curves, enabling the algorithm to generalize beyond the samples gathered during the training process. The sample trajectories are then filtered to select the trajectory which is closest to the specified vehicle dynamic constraints while respecting the track bounds at all times. This optimal trajectory is then passed on to a low-level Pure Pursuit controller which generates the steering and throttle commands to control the agent autonomously in the game. This animation shows an iteration of the DBF method where samples are generated around a fixed trajectory and a faster trajectory is eventually chosen as a result of the filtering process. We will now demonstrate the performance of our algorithm in the Formula 1 game. We first see that if we simply ask the car to go faster on a fixed trajectory, that does not work and the car immediately spins out as it comes into the corner. Next up is unfiltered situation where the car is simply asked to follow its best estimate of where the race line is. There is no sampling or filtering taking place and you can see that even with the unfiltered situation, the car always remains within bounds. Finally, we see that DBF is able to make a more aggressive approach into the corners, utilizing the maximum available track width and is able to push the car to its limits, carrying the most speed through the sequence of turns. A closer look at the side-by-side -side comparison between the unfiltered approach and the differential Bayesian filtering approach shows why this is happening. DBF is breaking late into the corner and at much higher speeds. It's also able to carry more speed through the turn as can be seen that the car with DBF is in higher gear. And finally, towards the end of the sequence of turns, we can see that DBF is not only in a higher gear, but at a higher RPM, allowing it to carry more speed into the rest of the track. Here we can see the difference between the trajectories taken by the DBF method shown in green as compared to a simple imitation learning based approach. Our results demonstrate that DBF results in the fastest lap time by almost three seconds and the fastest speed as compared to the unfiltered approach and also when compared to the best human lap from our training data. Our future work involves extending these methods to multi-agent racing scenarios.